So it's time for another one of Ben's stock reviews. Today's contender, EAPH. Stick around. Welcome to Framework Fortune. I'm your host, Ben, and today is another one of Ben's stock reviews, and we're going to be taking a look at Easton Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol EAPH, and this is from subscriber Mike Perry. Thank you for that suggestion, and if you want a stock review, be sure to leave it in the comments below. So EAPH is a pharmaceutical company. Right now it's a sub-penny stock, and we're going to dive into it and check it out. So we've got EAPH in Yahoo Finance. This is a stock that is below a penny. It's 0 .001 cents. Uh, market cap is 44,000. Enterprise value 2.4 million. Let's see, 52 week change minus 92%. So that's not good. Uh, the high has been over a penny, just barely. And the low is 0 .0008. Uh, we have no profit margin numbers. We have no information on the float. We have no revenue, no gross profit. Total cash, 5.8 thousand. That's not a lot of cash. Total debt, 15 thousand. Not a lot of information to go on on Yahoo Finance. So I'm not going to make any type of judgments yet, other than this stock is a very, very small uh, sub penny stock, and that's about all we know about it. All right, so here's the website. Looks pretty good. Pretty good graphics. Was not expecting this nice of a website from a sub penny stock. So let's take a look around. Focusing on areas of women's health and emerging cannabis markets. So that's interesting. Last press release was January 25th. And we do have social media. It looks like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. So the company previously developed and owned FDA approved wound healing drug and currently owns topically delivered drugs to treat cancer and other therapeutic products to treat various conditions that are all in various stages of development and approval. So you can see here they're partnered with Bayer, which is really cool. And then a Mexico-based company, BMV. And then this Gideon Richter. So they have some pretty good partners. You can see they also have a couple of patents which can be good. All right, so here we're gonna look at one of their revenue reports, their most recent one. And the Okay, so here's the float. The float is one billion, and they only have 94 shareholders on record. So it's a very high float. There's not a lot of people invested into it. Looks like they've got about 148,000 in cash. That's weird, they have an intangible asset that's gaming software. Not sure what that has to do with anything. See the liabilities. It looks like they've got a lot of liabilities. Seems to me they have a lot more liabilities than they do actual money. So that's not good. So this looks like this company is in quite a bit of debt. Uh, and then on top of that, there's a weird asset in there for video game software. I'm not sure what that's about. Yeah, so I don't see anything uh, about their CEOs, which is concerning. In their photo gallery, they just have a picture of a tweet from Easton Pharmaceuticals. And then their video is basically looks like embedded a YouTube video. So overall, the website is very pretty, but there's not a lot of information to go off of. We did find some statistical numbers, like the float is around one billion, and they have quite a bit of debt. So it's it's not looking great. But this is a sub penny stock in the OTC market, so it's about what I expected. Let's go ahead and dive into the charts on Thinkorswim and take a look at it and see if the technical side is any better. All right, so now we're going to look at some charts on EAPH and see what's going on with this uh, stock here. And this right here is the three year. And as you can see, in three years, it's been on a downtrend. At one point it was up to six cents. So there's not a lot of movement on this stock in three years. I mean, dropping dropping from six cents to below a penny is quite a bit of movement, but in reality, it's not that much. But we can see it's clearly on a downtrend. You can even draw a downtrend line here. And right now at this point, this stock is extremely bearish. It is below all indicators. It is still 
below this trend it would have to break back above this trend line here and then on top of that it would have to get over some of these indicators to be bullish so it is very bearish not really liking what i'm seeing and i also want to check some of these press releases over here because for some reason yahoo finance didn't seem to have any of these so let's see what's going on here so this was back in june they recorded revenue of six hundred and twelve thousand dollars so this is very strange this is a pharmaceutical company and they made these revenues off of a contract for 150 new homes in Ontario, Canada. So they have a real estate development division for this pharmaceutical company. Okay, so they've also created a gaming division and we saw some we saw something about some gaming software on the uh, website in their in their statistics there. And they're launching their games in a casino in the United States, supposedly by the third quarter. They've also completed an acquisition of Supreme Sweets, a food processing company in Toronto. So, let me just take a step back here because this is kind of crazy. This is a pharmaceutical company that has a real estate division, has a food division, and has a casino gaming division. If they have one more division for something else random, it's really going to freak me out. Uh, there's the cannabis division. So they are in discussions with several licensed producers of medical marijuana in Canada to potentially complete a strategic partnership for the launch of its cannabis-infused edibles. So they're trying to do cannabis edibles as well. So yeah, that's very interesting that they have so many different things that they're doing. All right, so here we switch to the one year, just to kind of see what it's done over a year close up. It's actually dropped quite a bit over a year. So I'm wondering why, why that is. So I don't see any bad press releases over this year that would cause this stock to drop. I'm not really sure why it's been on this downtrend. Maybe because they're venturing into the marijuana field and all those stocks have been on downtrends. That could be a possibility, but I'm not seeing any other reason why, really. So you can see here, it crashed out on this day here, almost to zero, to absolutely nothing. And then it rebounded some and made a decent little move back up, but it's still below this 9 EMA. So until it breaks above that, it's, it's pretty sketchy right now, I would say in my opinion so the only thing I can really say looking at this chart and these press releases is that it just needs to get back above this trend line so you have this downward trend line once it's above that uh, it could start climbing back up so overall I'm not really sure how I feel about EAPH uh, it's been on such a constant downtrend it has a very high float it looks like it's in a lot of debt, more debt than money than it's actually making. Uh, it's actually, the last couple of days, dropped almost to zero. So when I do these stock reviews, I'm merely just scratching the surface. I'm not doing a deep dive on these companies. I'm looking to see if there's any potential that is pretty clearly visible. So with this company, I feel like I'm missing something. The last year of press releases have all been good, yet it's on a downtrend. And then here in the past few days, it's went down to almost zero dollars. It was very close. It has rebounded a little bit since then, but I just feel like I'm missing something. The website's nice. The press releases seem to be good. The float is really high. I'm not a fan of that, but this stock is so cheap that you can afford a ton of shares. So the float is not a big a deal with this cheap of a stock. This is an OTC stock. Uh, it's one of those stocks that I would be careful with. OTC stocks don't have to follow the strict regulations of the NASDAQ. So overall, looking at this company has raised more questions for me than it's actually answered. There's a lot that I feel is still unanswered and I've not really been able to find those answers in any of the upfront obvious places to look which is concerning so I really don't know what kind of analysis to give you on this stock uh, 
the only thing I can say is just wait for the downtrend to reverse if you're thinking about entering in it. Uh, right now, at this point, getting in it, you know, it could just crash back out to zero if there is something I'm missing. If not, I mean, these are pretty low lows. You can't get much lower than zero. So you've got really, really strong support. But I just don't know really what to say about it. It's a very strange situation because they're a pharmaceutical company with real estate and casino games and maybe all this will add up maybe they do have a very good plan they claim to have a good plan but i really don't know and these these otc companies can tell you anything you know and that's the thing that raises a red flag on the stock to me is everything they're putting out to the public is good nice press releases nice website but they've been on a downtrend three years straight so that just to me seems pretty sketchy. I would be extremely careful with this stock, uh, whether you're looking to buy or maybe you're already in it and you're thinking about selling it. At this point, if you've already been in it, it is so low, I don't really see a reason to get out of it because you're not gonna lose much more if it does drop. It can only go to zero and it's almost there. This company could be going out of business Maybe somebody knows that, and that's why this big crash happened and it came down to zero. I'm not really sure. That's what I'm saying. There's, there's so many unknowns with this company. It, it would be better just to probably stay away from it. You could probably find other companies that are better. Now, if you are somebody who legit believes in this company, I know on some of my other stock reviews, uh, some people have spoke out against uh, my reviews, they have some very strong beliefs about those companies. If you have strong beliefs about this company, don't be mad at me for what I'm saying. I'm only going off of what I'm seeing, and I just don't feel great about it. If you have any information of maybe why it's dropped down so low or it's been on this three-year downtrend, feel free to post it in the comments. And always remember, do your own due diligence before buying or selling a stock. Don't just buy a stock because somebody tells you to get into it. And if you want a stock review, be sure to leave it in the comments below. I'm your host, Ben, and you've been watching Framework Fortune.